Aloha, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale, and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first round game of the EA Sports Maui Invitational Tournament between the Utah Utes and the Texas Arlington Mavericks. Number 50 is a star player on this team, and he's going to be showcasing his skills tonight. This kid used great defense to get him going on offense. You'll see it tonight. If he starts to struggle on the offensive end, he'll play twice as hard on the defensive end. The Mavericks will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. Now they're into it. That's got some people out of their seats. What a response. What enthusiasm. The Mavericks face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. Number one, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Fed the low block. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. He'll regroup the offense. Shoots from outside. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Number 50 with the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for a good shot. He blocks the shot. It's a block party out there. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. The power forward handles the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From right at the circle, way off target. Number one handles the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Inside, the power forward receives the pass. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Dump it inside. Trying to pack it inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Number 21 receives the ball. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Kicks it out. Inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, Me? Gave it up. Here's a spin down to the low. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. He goes to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. On the outside. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. On the 
outside. From the baseline. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He takes the three. Great shot. Working it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He gets it to go. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. And a momentary look from three-point land. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. For the bucket. And in and out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Fakes the shot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Both teams are looking to get something going here. For two, and he missed. And he scores despite the hack. On the inside. Number three is animated and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Goes up for two. In and out. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the... He makes the block. He intercepts it. They're working around the arc. Tries for two. And off the mark. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. They work the perimeter. Pull-up jumper from way out. Utah are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Up fake. He makes a nice shot fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Defense, pushing the ball, denying the wings. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man.
Number 32 draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 20 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. Gets the first. That's an 8-0 run. Gets two at the charity strike. They scored nine in a row. He launches the bomb. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Number 14 gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Thanks, Aaron. Both free throws go. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. In the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Attempts the trifecta, way off target. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Look at that spacing. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. it up goes up for two doesn't go pump fakes he shoots from downtown he hits it he's just not giving the effort on defense he's not putting up a good fight at all Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. The skip pass is picked off. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. And he missed. Circle gets it to fall. Number 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He steps up to the line. He got it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They're working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Two off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three point land. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. There's the fake. Goes up for two. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, go to the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Number 32 grabs it. Tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The brush is getting to him, Brad. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Pressure on him. Ball. Hit on the ball. Gets it back out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, and off the mark. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And we'll go to the free throw line. Misses the first. It's his second. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed.
There's the trap. For three, he nails the shot. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He forces another bad shot. That is not all you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Fakes a jumper. He up fakes. They move it into the front court. away the pass on the dribble gives it up and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot and it goes in that was a great great effort right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well on the outside had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Launches away. What should they do here, Dick? I'd go to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Tries for two. Doesn't go. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Set that screen away. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He unloads a three. Way off target. Intercepted. off the lazy pass on the outside looking for a good shot goes up oh you gotta knock those down great screen but no go he shoots from right of the circle off the rim and no good Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Jumped in front to take it away. And a momentary look from three-point land. Gave it up. Got an open look if he wants it. He dials long distance. Here's a double team. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The center takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And halftime, the Mavericks are down by eight. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. 
Texas Arlington collected very few rebounds out there, Mr. Vitale. Is it a lack of aggression, you think? Hey, if they're lacking aggression, that would mean they had some to begin with. I saw no aggressiveness towards rebounding in the first half. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Goes up for two. Too strong. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. There's a double team waiting there. And off the mark. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots kill chemistry, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Up and inside. The shooting guard takes the pass. And the ball goes out of play. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's a flash from the high post. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Tries for two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Number 32 is whistled for the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. Easy one. Picks off the lazy pass. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. High post flashes for the ball handler. He throws it up from downtown. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The fake. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes it off him. Unloads a three. He drains the bucket. The Utes are ahead by eight. 
Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, strong. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Tries to get the D to bite. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Double team now, bad angle. Takes it off him. They get it out into transition for two. Nice shot. The center takes the feed for the deuce. The shot won't fall. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. That's a seven zip run. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Up and in. That's nine unanswered. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Top of the key. Rims out. The point guard with the ball. Steals the pass. Gave it up. The center gets the pass. He gets the rejection. They just keep shutting the door. The Mavericks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple with a sensational block. Got okay. a nice screen. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Takes away the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The point guard gets the ball. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are first to in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Dribble gives it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. There they come with a double team to stop it. Launches the bomb. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cap down. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
It's stolen. Goes up for two. It won't fall. Got to control yourself. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number three is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. is his second shot. Steals the ball. They work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Puts it up. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. For the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. the shot looking for a good shot great defense and now with a power move on the inside did a great job protecting the basketball seals the defense off and explodes to the basket Kick it back outside. He gives him the fake. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. He intercepts it. On the dribble. Gives it up. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. For the deuce. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Looking to move it around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Takes it away. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Turnaround jumper. 
nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's pulling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They work the perimeter. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up with a quarterback pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. The Utes lead by six. Up and inside. There's the trap. Great play to take that to the basket. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right time. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He strips him clean. And back they come the other way. Texas Arlington are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Good job defensively. Here they go into the break for the bucket. Easy one. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Rims out. That one, there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on the defensive player. The Mavericks will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. For two. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Takes away the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the deuce. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, and he scores it off the glass. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Defensively trying to stay with his man. And he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside. And they attack him aggressively. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot. Get help from the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And makes the shot. There's a double team waiting there. Gets it back out. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. Two with a lay-in. On the dribble, gives it.
brings it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And now they'll bring it up. Kicks it out. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. Timeout's been called. Let's check in with Eric. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Got an open look for the shot. He looks for the bomb. Tio Cole. Hey, we got a worm burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Seen him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Intercepted. Cross court. Steals the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Ball down low, but it's kicked out. Number 13 with the foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Wow, and that stops the clock again. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. You'll visit the charity strike. It's good. Turn this into a one possession game. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Nick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Off the mark. Gave it up. Texas Arlington is now in the bonus. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations.
about ready to start things up again. He shoots from the top of the circle. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Nick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Texas Arlington wins in this very competitive outing tonight. They kept it close and ended up pulling off an upset. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.